The real estate boom that has gripped Hawaii is at times in direct competition with the cultural values of native Hawaiians. Tonight, Andrew Pereira has the story of a young man trying to protect an ancient burial site next to his Big Island home. His brothers came across this spot while exploring the woods near their home in Puna. Keone Kealoha Alvarez was only eight years old. He had no idea how the discovery would change his life. But now, 16 years later, you know, it's, it, it's a real impact, you know, about seeing burial sites being desecrated. And Alvarez, now 24, has become the keeper of the gate. He's guarding something more valuable than treasure, more precious than gold. Inside this lava tube are Evie, the remains of native Hawaiians. You know, and they made a real big effort of putting these remains in there to be protected. And um, it's just because of all this development, people are coming in and, and finding these remains and finding situations like this. Alvarez and his family are upset this land is now for sale, and records of the discovery he and his brothers made 16 years ago were lost. The Department of Land and Natural Resources is hoping to eventually regain the trust of native Hawaiians like Alvarez through better record keeping. Ultimately what we're working on is um, a far more sophisticated, no more, you know, paper and pencil type of thing, but more uh, using, using the technology where we can get it into a, um, a, a, digi a digitized basis. But for Alvarez and other native Hawaiians, there are other issues. Home and landowners are not required to disclose the presence of remains. That there's really nothing we can do about it, and it's illegal to sell Hawaiian burial sites. It's something Alvarez says needs to change through better understanding something native Hawaiians call ma'a. Having the heart to preserve this site, you know, and, and really malama da'aina. A love that's been growing inside Alvarez for 16 years. I just believe that, you know, burial should be preserved just like any other burial. It doesn't matter. It holds the history, you know, to Hawaii by preserving these kind of sites. Aloha no kako. My name is Kioni Kealoha Alvarez and I live in the islands of Hawaii. Currently, I'm working on a very important film project entitled Kapu, Sacred Hawaiian Burials. This project is in dedication to our native Hawaiian ancestors' burials. Over 20 years ago, my family and I have discovered a cave while exploring in the forest near our home. In this cave was ivi, or bones of Hawaiians. Ever since that discovery, my family and I have took on the responsibility as stewards to protect that precious site from being destroyed by development. This documentary film is of my journey learning from our Hawaiian elders about the traditional burial practices of Hawaiians. In the Hawaiian culture, human skeletal remains are kapu. And what that means is it's not to be touched, it's not to be spoken of, it's not to be displayed, it is kapu, or sacred. This is a very important film project to our Hawaiian culture, and your donation will help me to reach my goal in completing it. I thank you so much for your time. Mahalo for watching. My name is Kioni Kealoha Alvarez. In my culture, I guard and protect something precious. It's the root of the Hawaiian existence. Today, I'm going to do some research about Hawaiian burials. Burials were sacred. Burials were important. The, the body was, was prepared. They knew every bone in your body and every muscle and how it linked. They didn't know that by just putting it on the side, they went through it. The night was still a protection uh, for them, for the burials, for people who were burying them. And Hawaiian laws were so clear and so easy to understand. You knew if you were or were not a couple breaker. And you also know the penalty for couple breaking was death. With development booming on the Big Island, the Puna District is primed for progress. But some native Hawaiians say it's running roughshod over ancestral remains. And everybody from all around the world are starting to buy properties and develop them. 
Federal prosecutors charged two Big Island merchants with stealing more than 150 repatriated Hawaiian artifacts. This is the kind of things that the Western culture do. The Westerners come here and they know this is sacred land. The problem for the people that's going to buy this land is they got to deal with the descendants. This mound is actually from all the burials that they found in Waikiki, from all the development, from all the hotels and all the shopping centers. They decided to grab all these bones and then put them in one area. This is a United States practice. This is not a Hawaiian practice. In Hawaiian culture, you would never ever do such a thing. And just because they make it beautiful on the outside, that's a sick thing about it. That's what makes it worse, actually is they making it look like it's okay and it's not. And the state and the county allowed this to happen. So bad, they even destroy our burials to put the house on of our Ivi Kupuna, our ancestors' bones. We gotta do something. And I don't think that people, or maybe people think it's all okay. It's not okay. You gotta tell the world that uh, you come to Hawaii, we Hawaiians care about our history, our tutus, our past, and our Eevee especially. People don't get that. This is Hawaii. Before anybody came here, we had a people, a population of people who lived here thousands of years before anybody came here. And then they're gonna tell us how we gotta treat our burials and that that's not sacred to us anymore. And then twist our own people to think that way. And then the, the traditional practitioners who's really trying to uphold them, making them look like the criminals, making them look like the bad people. It's so messed up.